the nice and warm 47 degrees outside or the real feel of it said 39. I don't know, I think it feels a little bit closer to 30, but that's just me. <laughs> Here in the greenhouse, we're just shy of 50 degrees. And it's uh, 5 o'clock in the evening, so that's not bad considering we've been losing light for the last couple hours. Alright folks, how many of you steam your vegetables? This is my bottom pot to my steamer. I steam vegetables a lot during the week. This is the water that is in the bottom that's used to steam the vegetables. And as you can see, it's different colored. It's not clear. That's because it has absorbed the drippings from the vegetables that we're steaming in. So I bring this out here to my greenhouse this time of year. This is January. And one bucket of water right on in there. Just like that. I've got this that I use for scooping out the water. And that is how I give my garden, my, my greenhouse garden vegetables a real boost this time of year. It's just one cup. Bring it over to your plant. And you can decide, you know, some plants might need a little more, some might need a little less. You be the judge. You're taking nutrients that were in those vegetables you're giving it back to the other plants. I use this method in my herb beds, um, flower beds, around the grapes, the kiwis, the fruit trees, here in the greenhouse obviously. It really works, it goes a long way. Um, another way you can be saving money instead of going out and buying fertilizer and added nutrients for your plants, you're already doing it. If you're, I mean, on nights if I boil potatoes, the guys want potatoes, um, like mashed or something, I'm boiling them. I let the water cool and I bring it out here and I do the exact same thing with the water from potatoes. The starches, the plants just love it. Um, I'm trying to think of what other things you can do. Steaming and boiling are the two that I use the water from. But so yeah, instead of rushing out and buying, you know, more stuff to put in your garden. What have you got at home that you can be using? So there you go. There's your garden tip for the day. Vegetable water, three gallons of water, and water your plants. You can even do this with house plants. Make sure you've definitely diluted it because oh my will it start to smell. <laughs> Ask me how I know that. Um, but yeah, you can do it in the house. House plants love it. They benefit from it just like any other plant get the rest of these garden like I keep saying garden can you guys tell I'm ready for March to be here so I can actually be planting in my gardens I can be working in the gardens instead of making do in the greenhouse not that I don't love my greenhouse I am so thankful that I have this uh, but I can't wait to be outside in the big gardens so I'm just watering these guys with water that I had in the house that I had from um, boiling, steaming some vegetables. I brought the water out here in the pot after it had cooled and I added it to three gallons of regular water. And then I just scoop it right on out, happy as can be, and water these plants. Instead of going out and purchasing a bunch of fertilizers and um, grass out here, Sorry guys. So anyway, instead of having to go out and buying a bunch of different fertilizers for your garden and your greenhouse, use what you've got at hand. Um, like I said, if you're boiling uh, vegetables, especially even potatoes, the starches are not going to hurt your plants. So if you're boiling or steaming vegetables, save that water aside. And I just put it in a three gallon bucket of fresh water, top it off with that water that I've got. Um, if I have too much, like if it was, if I've set aside some maybe from a couple days, then I'll grab two buckets and I'll just do two buckets. You can do this around fruit trees, uh, grapevines, I've done it with our, our hardy kiwis, let's see what else. Um, in the garden of course, herb beds, flowers, roses, here in the greenhouse, and even house plants will appreciate it. Now if you do it in the house, make sure you're using like the three gallon bucket method and you're really diluting that water that you're using. Otherwise, you're going to smell it. <laughs> yeah, long story there. Um, but dilute your water. Um, your plants are going to love it. The house plants just go crazy for it. They love it. Um, 
But yeah, if you have any questions about this, uh, send me your questions. I I love talking about how you can feed your plants without having to go to the store. And you don't have to go buy those extra nutrients. Especially if if you're boiling and steaming vegetables, like I said, and you just dump that water down the sink, you're throwing so much away that you could be using. So next time before you throw it out let it sit to the side let it cool and go use it and even you know what i'm even using it it's january 15th or 16th 16th january 16th and i'm actually still doing it in my garden beds that are dormant i'm i'm feeding the soil so if i have too much and i can't be using it here in the greenhouse i'm going to go throw it in on the different garden beds i've got and around my rose bushes and those fruit trees give them that little bit of a head start that they need before spring arrives and when spring does get here and you're ready to plant that soil is going to be so healthy um, all those added extra nutrients that you're feeding into it right now are going to be feeding your crops that you're trying to grow all through the rest of the season. So yeah, if you have any questions, just shoot me some, uh, shoot me your questions. I'd be happy to answer them. I love talking about this type of stuff. So catch you later.